In fact, I was recently involved in a published medical case study where we improved a patient's sperm motility by 7,900%. That's not a typo, 7,900%. And today I'm sharing the exact five tips that created this dramatic and amazing transformation. Much of the preconception health conversation relates to women. Tip number one is about optimizing your nutrition. Let me start with the foundation of everything, which is nutrition. I break this down into two categories, what you should eat less of and what you should eat more of. What to eat less of. First, reduce or eliminate processed foods. Here's a simple rule. The longer shelf life of a food, the shorter your lifespan will be. Now, what to eat more of. Focus on nutrient-dense whole foods. So plenty of vegetables. Aim for a rainbow of colors on your plate. Grass-fed organic protein sources. Clean filtered water, at least half your body weight in ounces daily, super important, and then healthy fats, rich in vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s. Tip number two is to support your endocrine system with Revolution Makalibrium. Staying on the supplement side, my second tip is about directly supporting the endocrine system and testicular function. For this, I use a specific product called Revolution Makalibrium. This directly impacts sperm production, motility, and morphology. Now, tip number Number three, regulate testicular temperature. So this tip relates to something that most men don't really think about, testicular temperature. As all the men listening know, the testes hang outside the body for a reason. They need to stay cooler than your core body temperature to produce healthy sperm. My fourth tip takes us into personal care items and environmental toxins. The toxin problem. We live in an increasingly toxic world. From personal care products to pesticides, industrial chemicals to heavy metals, our bodies are under constant assault. These toxins don't just make us feel unwell. They actively damage sperm at the cellular level. They act as an endocrine disruptor, throwing off your hormone balance and directly impacting sperm quality. My fifth and final tip is about stress, both physical and emotional. Physical stress on the body can come from many sources. First one being infections like STDs, viral infections, or bacterial infections. These all create stress on your reproductive system. Wait until you're fully cleared before trying to conceive. Another stressor is inflammation. Chronic inflammation from poor diet, lack of sleep, or autoimmune conditions impacts sperm quality. The next is lack of exercise or excessive exercise. Both extremes are problematic. Moderate, consistent exercise is ideal. Sleep is a big one. Poor sleep is terrible, so aim for seven to eight hours of sleep nightly. Sleep is when your body repairs and produces hormones. 